Guys, welcome to another commentary done by Digby. This is going to be Fighting Spirit Mania, Zeke versus DeWalt. Set three, we've got DeWalt up 2-0, an odd match. I'm actually, uh, oops, forgot to take off some of these overlays. There we go. Um, an odd match last match. I feel like Zeke was in a commanding position, and then uh, I think this might be one of those things where it's chalking up to fatigue, or it's like, we're going to look at this tournament now because it is so many games more as practice rather than anything else. Upper left-hand corner, DeWalt as the yellow Protoss, bottom right-hand corner, Zeke as the black Zerg. I'm almost wondering if Zeke being down two sets to zero is also thinking, you know what, I'm going to give DeWalt these sets. So I'm going to see if I can get in a commanding position here. And then I'm going to give DeWalt the sets, and then we're going to move on from there. But I want to get my practice in and just see how things play out in between. We'll have to see if there, yeah, if we get more matches. But that last one really felt like so I like the creativity from DeWalt going for the Maelstrom, the upgrade turnaround. I think Zeke may be getting a little bit overconfident. That's also a possibility, but I think it was also goofing around. It's very rare where you're going to take the middle of the map generally. Now we're seeing the nine hatch from Zeke. So nine hatch, DeWalt checking that left-hand corner. He's sending out only a single probe scout. Oftentimes if you're so it's sending out a second probe now. Oftentimes, if you want to make sure you're getting that Nexus first, you can kind of do that double probe scout we've seen Seriosity do as well. Not peeking in the 6 o'clock location to go ahead and see whether that Overlord was here or not. But dropping a Forge, now yeah, I'm going to send out a second... I'm glad I said that, actually. A little bit of crackle in my voice there. Because now he's sending out that second probe because he wants to see if he has an opportunity to get that Nexus. He needs to see the timing of this hatchery. And I believe this is... I think DeWalt is of the skill level to know to plop down a Forge first in this scenario. Spawning pool behind this. Because Zeke can follow this up with a lot of Zerglings. And that is typically what Zerg players will do. Let's keep an eye. This could be a thing with timing. I'm not sure. It, at Versus a 9 pool. I'm not sure that uh, at cross positions it's undefendable as well. And also, Zeke looks like he's just pumping drones. So he, so Nexus first. This is usually the moment you want to start saving resources and larva if it is going to be just a huge flood of Zerglings. And I, again, I think it might. The hatchery is online. So, so yeah, Zerglings come out later, but they come out in greater numbers. I want to see the timing all together with it. And is he even going to go for the Zerglings? Or is he just going to stick? Okay, so just going for two Zerglings. Was maybe flirting with the idea. But it could also be one of those things where he didn't get the initial scout off. And so without having the scouting information and knowing where to attack his opponent. Instead opted to fold back. It looks like instead gateway before cannon behind this. I'm really curious about that now. It's going to be an itch in my brain. And we'll have to see if it comes up in other scenarios down the line. But yeah, I'm, I got an itch wondering whether the full Zergling press can get past. I think it can. Anyway. Three drones migrating into gas. And the other question is, is can they do it at cross positions in Fighting Spirit Mania? Zeke this time going for... I like this. This I like. Now going for the hatchery in the middle of the map as his third hatchery. This is kind of clever play. Especially if you're going to go for something like a 973. And it looks like he is opting to do so. He's just telegraphing it. But the thing for DeWalt is if DeWalt doesn't check the middle of the map, he might think this is two hatch rather than a three hatch play. And might prepare for the two hatch rather than the three hatch play. Yeah, this definitely shows you that this is the stage where Zeke's like, we're going to try stuff out now. Second Assimilator warping in. I'm wondering if the Walt is going to skip Stargate again and go for that maelstrom size from combination. I think that's kind of a build order he wants to flirt with to try to make, to just try to perfect and make work. Zergling, that's the Zergling that got the probe kill. And is he going to go for four hatch just on location or is he just migrating? Okay, this looks like the one thing with taking the middle base is these mineral patches, I believe, are more staggered and distant than the other expansions. Hydral Speed coming online. DeWalt not moving out additional scouts. So just, yeah, 
And I think this is, again, fatigue play. Dropping preventative cannon. Let's see if he goes for additional preventative cannons. Plus one weapons coming online. Two zealots sneaking out. Getting Dragoon range again. So it looks like he's thinking about potentially going for a similar build. Ooh, that Dragoon taking a little bit of free shield damage. Which could be critical, but spots the Hydralisk. So two cannons warping in. I think he's thinking, okay, maybe this is a smaller amount. I'm wondering if the Welt's going to put down the 4th and 5th, because that would be the full protect. No, instead opting to plop down gateways. What that is going to give room for Zeke to do is if Zeke gets a move on, not exactly. So what is this going to be? No, he's plopping down an additional hatchery behind this. So not going for 973s, showing Hydralisks, but not going for the bust here. DeWalt reading it perfectly. And this is feeling like kind of a lackadaisical game from both players at this stage. And plopping down three gateways behind to get it. And I think this is how do I win this rapidly movements now. Two additional cannons just in case. Zeke could have pounced on this, I think. Ooh, single Dragoon. I think they're confused by the Dragoon range. They're like, wait a minute. These Dragoons are firing further than they usually could. And I don't think yet... Uh, that's interesting. And Hydralis range has not yet finished. So there's this brief moment where the Dragoons... Because of the timing of everything, they can... Okay, now ranges come online. Where they can outrange the Hydralisks and do these exchanges over the cannon line. This is kind of cute. I like that. So that's the so if you can skip Stargate, so lesson learned. If you can skip skip Stargate, get the range, get a handful of dragoons, they can really help against potential hydros bust, save your forge, at the very least, and then you can just have fun doing this sort of bapa hydralisk out on the front and really start picking away at this, which makes contained situations a lot more challenging. And plus, with the additional gate, well, you're just going straight dragoon. Going to go plus one weapons. Dragoon Flood to deal with the Hydralis. Zeke now pulling the trigger. Taking out a second cannon. This still have a, has a sliver of health and is doing a lot of damage, but the rest of Dragoon's coming off the line. This is an interesting build from DeWalt. With a plus one weapons, he actually might be able to out damage these Hydralis, particularly with a decent amount of micro. So yeah, now plus one weapons. Plus there's these three overlords that are ahead. That are going to get focus fire down. And Zeke doesn't have enough Hydralisks in position to defend it. So he's now on the red. He's down to just 19 pro. He's got just 19 drones. Because it looked like he's, despite the middle hatchery, opting to go for four hatch Hydra. As far as a press. But DeWalt countering this with four gate plus one weapon Dragoon. But with a few Zerglings mixed in. Could be challenging to fight back. Plus one armor. Now being upgraded. So we're seeing some creative... Now start seeing the creative stuff. A Dark Templar out on the field. Actually, one or two Dark Templar plus this Dragoon army. DTs do take out Zerglings rather rapidly. So if you have sufficient numbers, as a composition, that's pretty... I haven't seen it before, but it'd be... Yeah, it'd be interesting to see. Zelt Leg Speed coming online. Second Forge plopping down. DeWalt definitely wants to go for a crushing follow-up. DeWalt... And <laughs> I say that, but he's gone up to 50 probes. And he has map control. Without the overlords in position. The, oh, the, and the Dragoons, actually. This is kind of another another clever bit. They can serve the function, potentially, of these Corsair. Given opportunities. Pick off overlords. Looks like that T, the DT being picked off. The Dragoon's going to go ahead and scoop back up. Zeke getting more. It's half the supply of the Walt currently. But keep in mind, I mean, a huge majority of that... He's in probes. Zergling sneaking up. They want to dive onto this. Dragoons, not that great against Zerglings. Some High Templar coming off the line. I don't think they're Psystorm upgraded. And Zeke pressing into the natural expansion. Archon morphing to try to help deal with these Zerglings. But Zeke expending troops. The cannons hold. DeWalt still has an army. So it's going to be a micro fight from here on out. Right now, DeWalt has superior numbers. Plus, that Archon did morph, which is going to make those Zerglings job a lot tougher. And Z, yeah, going to call GG. Okay, going to call GG right there. Way behind economically. <laughs> that was interesting one. 
three games up now for DeWalt. We're seeing the new meta. This is this is what's happening, guys. Like, yeah, that looks like it might not work in all scenarios, but I think we're seeing such a, a morph situation that this is this is a rough look. This is like the rough sketch. It's like before the artist does all the line filling and does the perfection of the painting. I think this is the future of StarCraft, potentially. I say that half sarcastically, but you never know. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.